funny how when I haven't vlogged in a while, I have to get used to like holding the camera and being on the vlog again. It's so funny. But um, what's up you guys, welcome back to another video. I am so excited to be vlogging again. I feel like I have some explaining to do <laughs> because I missed a video a couple weeks ago. I've been just trying to be as consistent as possible this summer with work and like when I tell you guys it's been the busiest work summer ever, it's really been very, very busy, but I'm super happy about it and I obviously can't complain. I'm, I'm honestly really like happy with how everything is going at the moment. Um, but how was it? I had gone away for the weekend and I came back on a Monday evening. And so I'd already filmed most of the vlog. I kind of just needed to finish it off the following day. Um, and so I'd kind of scheduled to finish that off in the morning and then in the afternoon I had a flight and I was gonna be gone the rest of the week for work. Wake up the next morning and I cannot move my neck. Like, this was not just like a little crick where you can't turn to one side. Like I full on could not get out of bed and pick up my upper body. It was really, really bad. Um, and so I just couldn't finish off the video, which is why I didn't post. So yeah, that's what's been going on the last week or so. It's definitely so much better than it was, but I still have a little bit of a crick or like knot or something in my neck and upper back on my right side. So um, later today, I'm actually gonna take you guys to an acupuncture appointment. Never been to acupuncture before, but I had a couple people recommend that I go and try acupuncture before I do anything else. So I thought it would be fun to take you guys along. Um, I'm gonna vlog that later today when we head over there. But anyway, we're back on schedule now. <laughs> no more missed videos on Sunday, I promise. I'm actually really excited to, like I love fall to begin with, it's my favorite season, but I feel like this year especially, I'm just ready to get back into a real fall routine. It's funny because this has been one of my busiest working summers but I still have kind of like that lazy summer feeling. I, I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but yeah, I was telling one of my friends the other day, I was like, I'm so over this like lazy summer feeling and I'm ready to just get back into my routine. I'm ready for the weather to cool down and um, yeah, just like get back to work essentially. My arm is gonna fall off, so I'm gonna put you guys here. Before we get into the rest of the vlog, I do have a sponsor for this video. I'm really excited to share that I'm partnering with Metro Plus Health on this vlog, so thank you guys so much for working with me. The reason why this partnership spoke to me is not only do I find healthcare super important, but it's also one of the hardest things that I kind of had to go through when I first moved to New York. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this, but finding a good healthcare provider was so much trial and error for me in the beginning. I think it took me about three years to find a provider that actually worked for me and was accepted by doctors in my area and gave me the coverage that I needed. And so, um, yeah, I'm just really excited to share this with you because honestly, if I had known about this when I first moved here, it would have saved me so much time and effort and energy and money and confusion. As I was kind of mentioning earlier, a lot of New Yorkers think they can't get health insurance because it costs too much, but this essential plan actually offers comprehensive benefits with no monthly premium. And if you do end up having to pay a copay, the fees are super low. So this plan is definitely beneficial for a lot of people. Currently, Metro Plus Health is covering over 660,000 New Yorkers and they also have over 34,000 providers throughout the five boroughs, which is amazing because this is ultimately what causes problems when you get cheap health insurance. It's like you can pay a low premium, but you're not going to find a doctor that's gonna take your insurance. You're not gonna find an urgent care center or a hospital even that's gonna take your insurance and then you're stuck. Um, or you have to travel very far when you have an emergency. So yeah, I definitely think it's worth looking into. Find out if you're eligible. If you are eligible, you have an unlimited $0 cost on things like dental, vision, uh, mental care. You also have access to just general medical services and 24 seven telehealth, which I've used telehealth more than going into a general doctor's office or going to an urgent care. Um, I used it during the pandemic and I've also used it before when I maybe know what I have, but I need a prescription or it's not something that you necessarily need to go into the doctor's office for, but you do want to speak to a professional about. And so um, 
yeah, these are just really great things to have as part of your health insurance. Some people who might be eligible for this plan are individuals between the ages of 19 and 64, individuals who can't get on Medicaid, and also you don't have to be a U.S. citizen to apply for the essential plan, which is great for students who are coming out of town or even just people like me who are here on a visa and need health insurance. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sign up Find out if you're eligible. I am gonna leave a link in the description box and also leave a little blurb of some of the info that I just shared with you guys so you can go and check it out. Also, if you don't end up being eligible, your friends and family might be. So don't forget to share it with them. Um, thank you so much Metro Plus Health for working with me and I'm gonna roll into the rest of the vlog. <laughs> appointment I feel like I just woke up from a nap because I was face down in that uh, massage bed obviously it was super cool didn't feel a thing really um, at least I didn't feel the needles going in um, felt some pressure for sure like where my muscle soreness is but it was honestly super relaxing she I'll link the place where I went so you guys can check it out if you want but um, she basically just quickly goes over what she's gonna do and like targets the areas where your muscles are sore. And then she goes, puts the needles and the pressure points and then you just lay there for 30 minutes. They give you like headphones and they put on a little meditation if you want. And that's pretty much it. So I'm feeling a little sore right now but it should be going away in the next day or two. And Hopefully I'll be 100% back to normal. So I'll keep you guys posted. I'm gonna go to Soho now, meet up with um, Erin, who you guys would have met this summer. She's the girl that was visiting from Sydney. And uh, she was here for like three weeks and then she went back home. And then two weeks ago, she actually came back and now she's gonna be here for two months. So I'm gonna meet up with her, get a coffee, try to get, a little Instagram photo and then um, we'll see what we do later. crazy right now but I have been home for a while I totally forgot that I was vlogging and I was like I need to update that I am getting ready because I'm going to see Harry Styles tonight in concert super last minute um my friend Sophia she got tickets she's actually going with her agency or one of her agents um and so we're gonna make a night out of it and go see him in concert. A lot of you guys will know that I used to be <laughs> the biggest fan of Harry Styles in One Direction when I was young. I don't really know a lot of his music anymore, but it's, I think it's just gonna be a really fun time and it'll be cool to like see him in concert. He's doing like 15 nights at Madison Square Garden, which is so crazy. I'm not gonna bring my camera, but I will try and get a little bit of footage on my phone when I'm there. I'm excited, I think it's gonna be really fun. I also haven't been to a concert in a very long time. I don't think I've been to a concert since before the pandemic, actually. Okay. Doing everything backwards right now. <laughs> oh man. My 
skin is not loving me so much this past week. I don't know exactly what it is. It could be just me not being at home and not eating the foods that I always eat, like just my regular meals. I have been eating out a lot. Not willingly, but <laughs> just with work and then I was home for a day and then like I'm not gonna do groceries for one day, you know? So I think my skin is uh, not feeling super happy, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna deal with it. It's not the end of the world. I already did my hair this morning, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Lips. This is another one of those Tarte lipsticks that I've shown you guys before. This one's a little bit different though. This is like a lip cream, so it's more of a lip balm than a lipstick. Kind of reminds me of the NARS lipstick that I have. It's more of like a lip tint. This is a very similar color. It's like close to my natural lip. And these are like the only lip products that I use. This is the, I have like mascara all over my hand. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Cream in the shade Soft Rose. It's perfect, it like matches my lips perfectly. Okay, for the outfit, I decided to go with these pants from Reformation. I got them a little while ago. Put my phone down. Um, I got them probably a year ago and I've worn them before. They're just very specific, so <laughs> I'm not gonna be wearing these every day, but I figured they were cute for the concert tonight. They're like a little newspaper print jean so i went with those and then i just paired it with a little black top from revolve i think this is from super down it's a knit long sleeve and it just has like a little hook and eye detail i've definitely worn it for you guys before and then just my little black booties also from revolve um they're like my staple fall winter black boots and then i also have my little stud bag so this is what i'm gonna wear i'm not gonna take you guys to the concert just because i don't want to bring my camera into um, the venue, but I'll try and get some stuff on my phone and then I'll see you guys in the morning. I just woke up to this Amazon fresh delivery at my door. It's super early in the morning still, but um, I placed this yesterday and it just got delivered. I do this like every couple weeks where I'll just get a couple of basic things delivered and then I'll also get like little drinks and stuff for the fridge just to have when I have guests over. So yeah, this is what I got. I still need to go to Trader Joe's for some other things, but I will probably do that later this morning. Okay, gonna update you guys on the concert last night. It was so much fun. But I, I think I said to you guys yesterday that I don't really listen to his music and I don't honestly really know that many of his songs other than the super popular ones. But it didn't even matter. Like. It was one of those concerts where anybody could go and have a good time, which I think says a lot about him and yeah, just like the environment that he creates. It's kind of overwhelming in the beginning because you don't realize what his fan base is like until you're in a room with some of his biggest fans and just all these screaming girls. It was, it was, it's pretty crazy and like, I can only imagine how overwhelming that must be for him when it's already overwhelming for me and it's not even about me. <laughs> I definitely am a Harry fan again, I'm not gonna lie. But um, yeah, I've just kind of been having a chill morning so far. I started this show on Netflix, which is called Echoes. Um, highly recommend. I am on episode four right now. And it's, it's just like a quick mini series, which are my favorites because you usually get a really good story, but you only have to commit to like seven or eight episodes. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna finish this episode and then I'm gonna save the rest for tonight. I don't have crazy plans today. I just have to go to the nail salon around 10, 10, 15 when they open. I'm gonna get my gel redone for this week. And then um, I made a brunch reservation at 12.30 with, for Libby and I. We're gonna go to the San Ambrose in my neighborhood, which is super pretty because they have this little garden area and 
it's just gonna be nice to hang out with her and catch up and then this afternoon when i come back i kind of just want to go through my my closet all my fall and winter stuff and see what i still have see what I've, i'm kind of missing and wanting for the season i don't know if you guys are the same but i feel like at the start of fall I need to go through my closet and just remember what I have. I feel like I always forget what I have, but I'm probably not gonna buy a whole lot for this season to be honest, because I think the last few years I've been investing in more quality stuff and everything is still nice and relevant. And yeah, you guys already know I'm not really a big trend shopper. I kind of prefer to buy more quality pieces that are gonna last me for a long time. So I'm only really gonna be buying things that I actually need and maybe just like a couple key pieces for fall and winter, but nothing crazy. So um, anyway, I'm gonna finish my show and then I will catch you guys in a little bit. pretty out today it's not that hot and I just feel like the whole summer it's been too hot to go for the long walks that I used to go on like I can't even say years ago I must have been like two years ago where I was still walking everywhere I feel like as soon as it was spring I would never take the train because I was just walking it was nice but the summer it's been a little too hot for that so um, yeah I was like I'm gonna take advantage of it while I can Nails are done. Always a good feeling. Um, I need to figure out how I'm going to get home from here. <laughs> last weekend, no, was it last weekend? No, I think it was like two weekends ago now. I, uh, I just went to the train that I always take to get home, but it was a weekend. And so, oh yeah. Anyway, I went to go and take the train that I always take and when I got there I realized that the service wasn't running that day because it was a Sunday and now I think the same exact thing is happening. Anyway, we're just going to have to take a different train. Um, I'm going to head home now. I'm going to change for brunch and then Livy's going to meet me at my place and then we're going to walk to brunch together. hours later I took a shower and washed my hair because it was just so gross 
and I'm gonna blow dry it soon. But um, I am pretty much halfway through like my fall closet clear out. I did a couple of drawers in my dresser, which I will show you guys really quick. Because I have a limited closet space, I have a lot of stuff just like stored in my dresser. So this is mostly just little sweaters and like comfy stuff. And then I also did my summer drawer. <laughs> so this is like all my, not all my summer stuff obviously, but all of my bikinis and like beach wear under here. And I also have my shorts in here and stuff. So I went through both of those, cleared some stuff out. Then I also went through most of my jeans, which I feel like I need to buy a couple new pairs of jeans for fall and winter. Because I just don't really have that many denim options in general. So yeah, jeans haul coming soon. <laughs> um, and then I have all of this stuff that I'm gonna donate. A lot of it is summer stuff that I got this season, or like a couple seasons ago, a couple years ago that I just don't really love. Um, some of it is going on Poshmark, but most of it is going to thread up. I know I've mentioned this so many times in the past, but if you guys need a good place for clothing donation, I do not throw clothes away. I'm very anti like throwing clothes away or just being careless with clothes. Um, I think it's really important to always try and donate them or sell them secondhand. It's just so much better for the planet and it's always nice when you can give clothes a second life. So um, yeah, some of this is gonna go on Poshmark, but then the rest I'm just gonna ship to thread up. I'm pretty sure they have a couple of different options. You can either just send it and then they give you a credit to thread up or you can also get like a payout kit and um, that will give you credit to whatever website you choose out of the ones that they offer. So I think they have Reformation, they have Madewell. Um, I think they also might have Abercrombie and Fitch right now. I should check, but I'll leave it in the description box if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go through this now and then I'm gonna list some items. I'll also link my Poshmark if any of you guys wanna check that out. I think it's actually always linked. This is everything that's going away. I am officially done for the day. I ordered dinner because I didn't feel like cooking. And it's a Sunday night. So we're not gonna cook. I um, I got digging because I haven't gotten digging in such a long time. And I was kind of craving just like something healthy. So I just got pretty much the same thing that I always used to get, which is the, I think this is a classic dig actually, but instead of getting the grilled chicken, I just get the charred chicken, which is um, like chicken thighs. And then I also got a little sweet potato brownie, because why not? So this is gonna be my dinner. I'm also gonna end the video right here because I'm gonna spend the rest of the night editing this and uploading it for next week. So I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this chill little Labor Day weekend vlog. Um, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.